Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. HTML or Hypertext Markup Language is a terrific export option for Crystal Reports as HTML documents can be displayed easily on both the internet and also on corporate intranets as needed. As long as the user has access to the directory to which you will be exporting the results and a web browser, you can export the results to HTML to allow user access. To export a displayed report as HTML, choose either File from the menu bar, roll down to Export, and then choose the Export Report command, or simply click the Export button that appears in the standard toolbar. In the Export dialog box, select HTML 4.0 as the format, and then choose Application from the Destination dropdown. Selecting Application will then immediately open the report using your computer's default web browser after you have exported the results as HTML. Click OK when you are ready to export the results to launch the Select Export File dialog box. In the Select Export File dialog box, you create the new directory or folder into which you will export the report results. The HTML report file will be placed into the folder created along with several secondary associated files. They will be given the name that you used when you saved it, but with the .html extension versus the .rpt file extension normally associated with a crystal report. To decide where to create the specified report directory, use the Drives drop-down to choose a computer drive into which you want to save the report. You can then continue double-clicking on the folders within that folder to continue choosing subdirectories as needed. Now when you've double clicked on the folder into which you want to create the new report folder, type the name that you then want to give to the new folder directly into the directory name text box. Next you can change the name of the default web page or HTML file that is created by typing the desired file name into the base file name text box. Typically that's not necessary, as the report will simply use the same name that you used. You can then check the Page Navigator checkbox to create a navigation tool in the web page that the users can use to browse through the pages in the report. And you can check the Separate HTML Pages checkbox to create each page as a separate web page versus creating one long scrolling web page from the report data. If you wish to filter the page range, you can select the Pages option within the Page Range section, then input the starting page number into the From text box and the ending page number into the To text box. When you've set all of the options for HTML publishing as needed, click the OK button to export the selected report as an HTML page and then view it immediately in your computer's default web browser. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.